guys welcome back to my channel today i am back with a warm weather fashion haul from forever 21 plus everything i am sharing today is from the plus size section in a size 0x i do typically fit between a size us 12 to 14 and i am 510 all of my stats are listed down below including all of the items that i am sharing today links to shop and my size let me know in the comments down below what your favorite piece was that i am sharing today i'd love to hear from you i do want to quickly warn you I didn't realize how many items I had until I sat down to film. So this video is probably a bit longer. So definitely grab yourself a snack and let's go ahead and jump into today's haul. a couple of swimsuits so I figured we could go ahead and get started with those first everything including the swimwear is in size 0x if you remember during swim week I shared a black plunging one piece from Abercrombie and I loved that swimsuit so so much but the fit for me was just really off um so I've kind of still had that one on my mind I've been trying to find something similar and I feel like this one from forever 21 is a really really great option so this is a black one piece it does have the deeper plunge in the front here there is a little knot as well um these sides are open and then we do get pretty decent um back coverage and also the bottoms are a bit cheekier but honestly it's nothing in comparison to some of the ones from abercrombie that i again shared during swim week um the fit for me is immaculate on the swimsuits i love everything about it i feel incredibly supportive supported i think my girls look really great they feel really great i like that this one is fuller coverage but you do have the openings on the side here to make it a bit sassier i feel like this swimsuit is tall girl long torso and curvy friendly in my opinion my only concern about the swimwear from forever 21 i believe all of them are final sale so definitely keep that in mind if you are interested in any of the swimwear but of course i will have this one linked down below then i did go ahead and grab one other swimsuit these pieces are sold separately both are in size 0x um, the top is strapless it does have the removable cups in here i don't typically prefer a strapless top but i do like having them um, so i don't have to worry about tan lines i like this one i feel supportive supported but the only issue i'm having is with this top right here i don't know how well you guys can see that the white i do find it keeps rolling down because i'm pretty sure the white shouldn't be shown but it keeps like flipping back up so don't love that aspect of this uh, top but i do think this set is really cute together um, and then the bottoms do fit more higher on the hip um, so they're a little bit more showy on the sides here um, again they do fit higher on the hip they are high-waisted and then they are cheekier in the back again kind of same thing with the black one from before it's not too too bad in comparison to some of the others that i shared during swim week so all in all i do like this set i probably would do without the top honestly before we move away from swimsuits i did go ahead and grab this swim cover-up this is nsi 0x it is available in both white and black i've been receiving so so many requests from you guys on instagram to share some swim cover-up options i thought this one was so cute it does fit on the maxi side um, we have the wider sleeves which I love that coverage I'm definitely the type of person that burns very easily especially on the shoulders it doesn't matter how much SPF I put on my shoulders seems like they are always burning so I do appreciate that this swim cover-up has the sleeves it also does have a belt at the waist with the two different clasps and honestly I kind of like this swimsuit cover-up um, better opened but you could definitely wear it either way unfortunately since I am still trying to kind of figure out my filming setup while I am standing um, you're not able to see the full length on this piece but I will go ahead and pop a photo photo on the screen so you guys can see exactly what it looks like thank you so much for your patience while I try to figure everything out over here it has been 
a little bit of a struggle. Keeping with longer pieces, again, I apologize, you're not able to see the true length of this one. This is a white maxi in a size 0X. This dress is double lined, so you don't have to worry about anything being sheer. We have the navy blue crochet design at the bottom. We also do have a bit of the navy blue crocheting on the top. Not a bit, the whole thing is crochet. This piece is also smocked, so it is incredibly stretchy and comfy. We have the square neckline, and it is also elastic at the bottom of the sleeve. In the back here, we have more of an exposed back with the little tie. And honestly, out of all of the pieces I am sharing today, I will have to say this is probably my least favorite. Um, it was also the most expensive, and I think the quality is nice. The fit for me is just slightly off. I feel like it's too big in my girls right here. I wish it would have cinched me in more underneath my chest. And I also do feel like for a maxi dress, this one is slightly shorter. So if you are a tall girl like myself, you may wanna stay away from this one if that is something you also struggle with on your maxis. When I tell y'all I was sweating, I mean sweating. So I'm sorry if I looked crazy in that last clip. It's like 80 degrees today here in Maryland. So we had our windows open, air conditioning off, which is normally fine. However, I did have to close my window in here because I swear every time I'm trying to film something, someone is mowing their grass. Like what is up with that? So close my window and I have these two bright lights and it was a sauna in here. So I did go ahead and turn the air conditioning on and closed the rest of the windows and I'm feeling so much better. But this next dress right here is a total win for me. I am obsessed with this sage green color. It is so, so beautiful. This one is in a size 0X. It also has the square neckline. We have the thicker straps up here. They are not adjustable. This is a tiered dress. So we have one tier underneath the chest and then there is a second one at the bottom. You guys should be able to see the bottom on this dress. Super, super cute. Love the length on this. The fabric is extremely lightweight, perfect for those really warm days. Trust and believe because I am not dying in this one. Whereas the last one with the two layers, who y'all, it set me over the edge. I was like kind of warm when I first started filming, but that last white dress had me on fire. Um, this is what the back looks like though on this one. So it is fully smocked up here. We love that, really nice and stretchy and comfy. There's also a little tie I never know with these little ties if they're supposed to go in the front or in the back. Personally, I feel like they look better in the back. Let me show you what it looks like in the front. I mean, it's not bad. I don't know, it just kind of feels like it looks awkward. You guys will have to let me know what you think about it. But 10 out of 10, I would absolutely recommend this dress right here. One thing to keep in mind, this dress does wrinkle a little bit more than some of the others. Personally, I don't mind it because it is so incredibly affordable. Keeping with light and airy dresses, thank goodness, this one is in a size 0X and it is a faux wrap skater dress. It does have the wrap design up here in the chest the straps are not adjustable cinches in at the waist and then it flares out at the bottom the length is also pretty great on this one it's just slightly shorter than the previous one but it's still not too too short and do keep in mind I am 510 for reference this is what the back looks like I love love the color on here with the at first I thought it was white florals, but I think it's actually white polka dots. I also do like the wrap at the chest. I do kind of wish the straps were adjustable, but that would be my only con with this one. Super cute and again, very affordable. If you follow me on Instagram and you've been following along on my daily outfits, you would have already seen this dress right here because I'm obsessed. It is so, so cute. This one is in a size 0X and it is absolutely my favorite piece from today's haul. You guys will have to let me know what your face favorite piece is down below. So this one has a sweetheart neckline. It does go off of the shoulder with the elastic. We also have the elastic at the bottom of the sleeve. The sleeves are a bit more dramatic as well and then it does cinch in at the waist flares out at the bottom. The length is pretty good on this one as well. Fabric is incredibly lightweight, really nice and airy. I'm definitely getting like 
baby shower, bridal shower, brunch vibes on this one specifically. I feel like a lot of them could have worked for any of those occasions, but especially this one right here, it is just beautiful. I cannot say enough good things. I'm wearing this in a size 0X and I'll have it linked down below. Forever 21 had so, so many good two-piece sets, so I did go ahead and grab two. First one here is in a size 0X, both the top and bottom are sold separately. Um, this one I did grab in the light yellow floral, but I wanna say it is available in one other color. So the top has these straps that you can tie. Now, unfortunately, I'm pretty sure my ties are slightly off, but hopefully you can look past it. The fabric on both the top and the skirt has little to no stretch and both the skirt and the front of the top are double lined. So I do feel like this is great if you wanted to wear this top without a bra, as you do have that additional coverage and supports. While the front half of the top is has like little to no stretch, the back is fully smocked, which I know I said before, I love when anything is smocked as it does make it more comfy, so nice and stretchy. Moving on to the skirt, again, both pieces are sold separately. The skirt fits nice and high-waisted. It does have the elastic waistband as well. I find it to be a little loose on the waist for me, but unfortunately that does kind of happen with skirts from pretty much any retailer, so it's not a huge deal. As I said before, the bottom of the skirt is a non-stretch fabric and it is double lined, so you don't have to worry about it being sheer. I think the length is actually pretty good on the skirts. I also like that this top is cropped, but it's not too, too short. Um, and all in all, I think this set is adorable. I just don't feel like it's really my personal style so this one will be a pass for me this next set right here is not again my personal style but I have to tell you I am in love with it it makes me feel so so good so this one is again sold separately both are in size 1x the top is a cropped black top it has the ruching here in the front the straps I just found out are actually adjustable so I do need to tighten these up for a better lift fabric is really nice and lightweight perfect for those extremely warm days and then the skirt fits nice and high waisted again we have the ruching all over the front and it also does go on the back fabric is exactly the same as the top extremely stretchy comfy very lightweight the waistband is also elastic and this skirt is a bodycon skirt and it does fit slightly on the shorter side and I'm just absolutely in love with this set like I seriously feel so so good in this one it is definitely not a piece or a set I would normally choose for myself but I'm so happy I did I'm getting like vacation date night vibes from this one or like resort date night or even resort club night or maybe even like bachelorette um, depending on where you're going like if you're going to the beach I think this would be really cute for a night out it is just it's just beautiful I can't stop staring at myself in this one moving into some super casual pieces um, this top is in a size 0x and I'm so happy to say the straps on here are adjustable we love that um, it's just a basic blue floral top I love having these basics in my collection very lightweight super stretchy we have the lettuce cut um, at the bottom down here and there's also this little tiny bow which is totally giving me all of the 90s vibes so i am totally here for it it's what the back of the top looked like as well so then unfortunately guys these bottoms you are not able to see i'm gonna pop a photo on the screen of either me or the model so you can see exactly what they look like but these are a pair of flared jeggings in a size 12 i know so, so many of you have told me how much you love some flared jeggings, so I finally went ahead and picked up a pair. These fit incredibly high-waisted. The fabric is extremely stretchy, comfortable, but it still feels like it really holds you in. These unfortunately do not have pockets either in the front or in the back. They also do not have belt loops at all. Um, and then they do have a bit of like, kind of like the stitching pattern on both sides and it also does go um, up at the top right here where the belt loops would be these jeans are slightly on the longer side so on me again you guys should have seen the photo 
they're actually touching the ground. Um, I probably would wear them with heels, so it's not a huge deal. But again, keep in mind, I'm 5'10", and they're long on me. So if you are on the shorter side, I maybe would suggest staying away from these. But if you are looking for just a super affordable pair of flare jeans, maybe to just try them out, and you don't mind that they don't have pockets or belt loops, um, I would totally recommend these right here. Again, I am so, so sorry you guys are not able to see these pants in full action. Last bottom I am sharing today are these shorts. I did actually sneak peek them in my Boohoo haul from last week. If you missed that video, I will link it down below. These are in a size 12 and they do fit nice and high-waisted. We have a zipper and double button closure. We do have pockets in the front and in the back on these. They also do have the belt loops and they are cuffed at the bottom and they are stitched so you're not able to open them up. Um, in comparison, so these are in a size 12 as well as the jeans from before. I do find that these shorts run a little bit larger at least in this like lower tummy crotch area. I have a lot of extra fabric. But honestly, for me, I would rather have extra fabric than them be too tight, so it's really not a huge deal. The fabric is also extremely stretchy, very, very light weight, and I also think they just look really good on my body. I mean, they're really, really comfortable. Um, they are available, I believe, in one other wash, and then this is what the back looks like. They do have pockets back here as well. So then moving on to this top, this one is in a size 0X. This top is probably one of my least favorite items from the haul. Um, it is available in one other color, but it is a faux wrap peplum. As you guys can see, it's a little bit lower in the front. Um, I do not have the correct bra on. Um, if you find that it is too low as well, you could easily safety pin the bottom. So do you have the little ruffles on the side here and the fabric up here is crochet as well as the very bottom of the top. It also is a peplum, so it cinches in underneath the chest and then flares out. I feel like this top kind of fits on the shorter side. It's definitely not a true crop at all, but it is a slightly shorter. I don't know. I feel like this top is just kind of making me look a little bit wider. It's just not really doing anything for me. This top is in a size 0X, and it is one of those tops that has the ruching at the center. So you can actually adjust this how cropped or how not cropped you prefer by just pulling it down. Oh, why isn't it working? Oh, because it's still knotted. There we go. So you can pull it down like so, and then it's not cropped or pull it up. We have the ties here in the front as well. Um, the colors on here, it's like a pinky, kind of like fuchsia tone for the um, florals. The straps on this one are not adjustable and it really does kind of drive me crazy because they are way too big for me. But other than that, I do love, love this top. Um, on Instagram, I styled it with a light pair of jeans, but I do feel like this top is super versatile that it really could be worn with anything. I really thought I was done filming. I was about to put everything away when I realized I totally forgot to share these shorts. These are in a size zero X. They are available in a couple of different colors. I have them here in the burnt orange. These are a pair of linen shorts. I don't personally love linen because I do feel like it clings to my curves, it clings to my lower tummy. However, these shorts fit so nice and loose and flowy. I don't feel they are clinging at all. Um, they do have the pockets on both sides, elastic waistband with the tie, and they are a great length. Love, love everything about them. The only thing I would say, they do wrinkle a little bit more than my preference, but I mean, they are so crazy affordable, so. It's not really an issue for me. 10 out of 10 would recommend these. I did it, I couldn't handle it anymore. I had to throw my hair up. I am still so warm. Um, even though we are on the last clothing piece, 
I just couldn't take it anymore. So this, as I said, is the last clothing piece. This top is in a size zero X. It is very similar to the last tank from before where it has the ruched center center with the tie. So you do have the option to make this top shorter or longer. Um, this top is fully smocked on both the front and in the back. Um, I do think you can wear this one off of the shoulder since it is elastic up here at the sleeve um, and also elastic at the bottom. And then this is what the back looks like. Super, super cute. And I do feel like this top could be really worn for so many different occasions. But I will, of course, have everything that I shared today listed in the description box down below, including links to shop and my size. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite piece was or favorite outfit was that I shared today. I would love to hear from you. I honestly did not even realize how much stuff I had until I was like, how long have I been filming? And it has been at least an hour at this point. So yeah, I'm sorry this all was a longer. Hope you guys did enjoy it, even if it was on the longer side. Um, if you guys did enjoy today's video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new. Check me out on both Instagram and TikTok. I will have both of those listed down below. Thank you so much to Forever 21 for gifting all of these great items. I cannot wait to wear them all spring and summer long and style them for you all. So that is pretty much going to do it for today's video. So thank you guys all so, so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day, amazing week, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys. Cheers.